Hey everyone, it's time to go back to school. Can you believe it? The summer is over. It's even getting a little chilly outside. I can't believe it. Um, but I'm so excited for you guys to go back to school and I want you guys to be excited to go back to school. So I was sitting around actually with our summer interns and we were talking about different ways that um, they get motivated to go back to school. So I wanna share some of those tips with you guys today because I know sometimes you get a little bit of like the Sunday night blues, right? When you think about going back to school, <laughs> but it's okay it's gonna be a great year and you know you never know what's gonna happen so exciting things I'm sure are to come for all of you now in terms of tips for how to get motivated to go back to school I think the first thing is to organize your school supplies we all have more school supplies than we think normally just sort of laying around our house whether it's like you're you're going into your parents desk and like oop, I want that pen Oop, that looks cool <laughs> or uh, just seeing kind of what you have laying around your room at home but put together those school supplies because you want to have everything organized that's just going to kind of make you feel better it's also going to show you what you need and for the school supplies that you do need to go buy you know go out to your favorite store and go buy some fun stuff don't buy the boring blue pens buy some fun pens buy some colored notebooks buy some things that are going to make you feel inspired and motivated during the school year i'm telling you there's nothing like a good notebook right that one magical notebook can inspire inspire you so much. So go buy that notebook or that folder or that planner or whatever it might be. Now, speaking of planners, I know that there's a few that you guys are obsessed with. You like the C. Jane Work planners, the Knock Knock planners. You guys love the Erin Condren planners, we know. Um, and then I know a lot of you, I, I have one of our summer interns in my head right now because the other day she was saying, no, the Lily Pulitzer planner is where it's at. So whatever that favorite planner of yours might be, go grab it, get a new one if you need to. It will be a great investment because that's how you're gonna stay organized for the whole school year. So get that planner, start filling in some things. You know, if you have any family vacations, any weddings, any things that you're going to, fill it in on the dates. And I'm telling you, just preparing your materials and getting that planner organized is gonna help you get in the mindset of back to school time. When you do, go to school and you move into that dorm or that apartment or wherever you're living, make sure that you organize your space. You need a clean space where you can study. I know for me, I need like a Wi-Fi telephone free zone. Just a very simple boring desk where I can put my computer. I love to turn my Wi-Fi off when I'm not doing research, if I'm writing a paper and I have to turn my phone totally off, sometimes I just chuck it across the room and that's how I really get in the zone. So create that study space for you where you think you can get in the zone. Remember, this is a fresh year. You get a fresh start. Any classes that you didn't do well in last year, it doesn't matter. This is your time to start fresh and do it right all over again. Another thing you can do to get motivated for back to school is to contact your friends. We all have our home friends, our camp friends, our intern friends, our school friends. It's time to call those school friends, catch up with them, see what they've been doing all summer. If you haven't been staying in touch, you know, poke them on Facebook, write on their wall, you know, comment on their Instagram, whatever it might be, but get back in the swing of things, you know, contact your sorority sisters or whoever you're really close with. And these people are probably gonna get you excited about back to school. You know, over the summer, sometimes you don't talk to your close college friends for a long time and it's nice to catch up with them, get back into the swing of things. And I'm telling you, that will get you excited not only to see them but also to hang out with them and to go make some new memories for this year at school. My last tip for you guys on how to get motivated for back to school is to come up with a plan. What are you going to invest your time in this school semester? Of course, you're probably all taking at least 12 credit course hours, right? A full-time course load. But what are those other things that you're gonna do? Are you gonna get a fall or spring internship? Are you going to join new clubs on campus? Are you gonna join an intramural team? What are those things that you've always wanted to do on campus but you just haven't done yet? If it's get an internship, great. 
great. If it's join student government, great. If it's to uh, try out for the dance team, amazing. But think about what those activities could be and look into them because you want to make sure that you don't miss any deadlines. Um, if you're joining PRSSA, the Public Relations Student Society of America, you want to make sure that you know when that first meeting is so you don't miss out on joining the club. So think about what you want to be involved with, do the research, and get into it. I would recommend picking one to two new things that you want to be really involved with and really commit yourself to for the school year. Uh, remember, I know I've told you guys this before, but the one thing I wish I could go back and tell my college self is that time is the most valuable thing that you have. So when it comes to your friends, your activities, your clubs, your sports teams, whatever you're doing, choose wisely because your time is so precious. So get excited. Um, this year is gonna be a great one and I'm pumped for you guys to go back to school. So get pumped, it's happening, let's do this.